Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and it's Saturday, and you know what that means. It's time for weekly purchases, that time of the week where we investigate what came through the door via DHL, UPS, Amazon, the post office, FedEx, and that old outlaw, that old outlaw, Waylon Jennings, and we wrap it up to a ball with a little news that excites me that might excite you, and we call it Weekly Purchases, our weekly deep dive check-in of what's going on in the action figure game out there. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you have not yet. But we start every Weekly Purchases off with a recap of what we did on the channel this week in another busy week. A lot of reviews, a lot of unboxings, a lot of stuff on the channel this week, including the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon Target exclusive packs. We unboxed both of those on the channel this week. We'll talk a little bit more about them in weekly purchases in the back half of the episode. We continued our daily Star Wars unboxings. 2021, the year of Star Wars on the channel. I promised, and I've lived up to my end of the deal, I have did a Star Wars video every single day in 2021. Just got about a month and a half left to go, so be there for the big finish. And then Jack's Classic Superstars, we're knee-deep into the ringside collectible exclusive versions of Jack's Classic Superstars, so if you're missing those videos, a Tuesday staple on the channel, make sure you're checking those videos out. And then a Thursday tradition on the channel is the Kyle Peterson Top 5 list. A lot of you guys like those videos. Very interactive. You guys leaving your list in the comments below, as I always say. Uh, but this week we did... One that's pretty controversial, I know this one's kind of all over the place for depending where you are, where you are as a collector, where you came into it, but my top five least favorite wrestling figure lines of all time. Uh, who did I hate? What did I hate? Check out that video. It was a fun one out there. And definitely leave yours down below. It's very interesting to read your guys' comments as well. Uh, we also did a lot of Marvel Legends unboxings this week. We did the Hasbro PulseCon exclusive of the Rockabilly Modoc and Captain Pack. We did Compound Hulk, the Walmart exclusive Christmas Hulk, as some people call them out there. Uh, we also did the Hasbro PulseCon exclusive G.I. Joe Classified Zartan figure. We've been working our way through the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four wave, so we did one of those. Two more of those videos to come, so be on the lookout for those very soon. We also did a Masters Universe Revelations Tila and Man at Arms unboxing. Uh, first time in the line, Mattel Basics female figures. We did that last week. Uh, a lot of people were interested in seeing that, so we put that up. I believe it was on Sunday. And then uh, Friday night, I've been knocking out some of these other ancillary wrestling packs. We did the Showdown 2-pack unboxing of the Street Profits and the Usos. So make sure you check that bad boy out. Uh, what else do we do? I'm looking at my list here. We did our weekly figure hunt. Of course, how could we forget the favorite video on the channel, believe it or not, is the weekly figure hunt video. Of course, you know I ended it. It is McRib, it is McRib season, and it is cape season. I don't have a cape yet because I just feel like I'm not old enough. I'm getting there, but I'm not quite old enough. But I did get a McRib. As you guys see, I got to get a McRib at least once a week, uh, and that's exactly what I did. I also went to a heavy metal show, the first old school heavy metal show I've been to since COVID hit. You guys know I used to go to shows weekly, sometimes daily. Uh, and there's just not a lot of shows. My favorite venue in town closed down that had all the good heavy metal shows. Uh, hard times. Hard times disappointment in the heavy metal game in my community. But we had one. We had heavy metal, new wave of British heavy metal, stalwarts, Raven come to town. That was pretty cool for me. I was love seeing Raven. I think it was the third or fourth time I've seen them uh, on a Monday night of all nights. But I did go and I saw Raven. And I put a little of that in the figure hunt as well. So make sure you check that out. So, oh, I almost forgot. We also unboxed the Zodiac. Yes, Brutus Barber Beefcake, his other persona in WCW, the Zodiac. Target exclusive. We unboxed that one on the channel. Definitely check that one out. That is quite the figure. You guys know I'm a sucker for face paint. I'm all in on face paint. And that's what the Zodiac has. A couple other housekeeping things I want to also promote. I'm going to try to promote them the rest of the year, at least for the next few weeks. This time of year, it's all about the toy drive. Yes, the toy drive's out there. I'm sure you got a local toy drive. Uh, there's always kids that don't get stuff for Christmas, so make sure you're giving to your local toy drives. Or you can always give to the Fig Cave toy drive. We've promoted that before in the past. Make sure you give to that one. That one's over East Coast. And there's, of course, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast toy drive. Uh, you can send them your toys or, at worst, send them to your local uh, Toys for Tots area, something like that. You guys saw me last week. We loaded up. I got a ton of Alexa Blisses and Maurice's uh, from the Walgreens clearance event a couple weeks before that. My old helper, Emma, Emma, number one helper, she helped us. We had $5 basic showdown battle packs at my uh, local Walmart. 
we cleared them out. We gave those to Toys for Tots as well. So it is the thing to do this time of year. So make sure you're doing your part, I guess I would say, out there. Uh, and then another housekeeping, November 23rd through the 29th, Pro Wrestling Tees. We all know Pro Wrestling Tees by now. Uh, they have a big sale going on. So, man, it's the Thanksgiving Black Friday sale. This is the time to load up on shirts. And I'm no different. Support the channel. Pick up a T-shirt. I know a lot of you guys have already. I definitely appreciate it out there. But I do have a lot of new shirt designs coming for this week. I said, well, we've had them. Might as well throw them out there. And I always say it. I say it myself. Got to get a deal. You might as well get a deal if you're going to buy my shirt or anybody's shirts. Next week is the time to do it, so make sure you check out the shirts. There's some cool ones going up. Rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe a checklist. Harry Bipedal Creatures, uh, mask, face paint. You know how it goes. Uh, but there should be some good shirts from me and everybody else under the sun. So if you're going to buy some pro wrestling t-shirts, next week is the time to buy. A uh, big sale going on. So without the housekeeping out of the way now, let's get down to the news of the week. And an interesting week, like we've been saying the last few weeks, going to be slow. Holidays coming up, Thanksgiving for you Americans out there. Uh, we got Thanksgiving next week and then Christmas, New Year's, all that. So it's pretty slow. A lot of people using their PTO. I wish I could get all my PTO and that would be nice. Instead of giving away like 10, 12 days a year, if I could just get it all in, boy, wouldn't that be cool? But I know a lot of people are fortunate enough to get a lot of the holidays off and uh, good for you. And uh, there's a lot of toy news that will not be happening until first of the year. So there's a few things here and there, but it's going to be few and far between. So the news segments will be a little slower. I am anticipating to finish the year off. But let's jump into the exciting news, the exciting news of the week. Well, it depends where you sit. You guys know I love the Rancor. I wear my Rancor love on this sleeve. I wear my hairy bipedal creature love on this sleeve, usually. Uh, but the Rancor has lab. We've known about it for about a month now, I'd say. Uh, and it's going at a snail's pace. Pace. As of this viewing, uh, it's 5,200 of the 9,000 needed just to be funded. As Jerry Reed would say, got it all in a short time. Yeah, that's exactly what he would say. Uh, we got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. There's not a lot of room left. Early in this week, they announced the second uh, backing campaign, and that was at 13,500. I mean, 9,000 seems like a stretch at this point, but 13,500, you're getting bones. Bones. I mean, that that felt like it should be really in there. That was a weak, weak stretch goal. Uh, that's the final tier goal. It's like, hey, you guys have blown this out of the water. Here's one last thank you. That's what that should have been. And then they're giving us a cardboard background, like an extreme sets or something like that out there, which that is cool as well. But I guess my gut said, hey, I'm getting a cool packaging with this. This is already going to be a part of it. And it looks like it's going to fold into kind of like a square, like the old school Rancor one. It almost feels like it's part of the packaging they already had planned. And they're trying to throw it in there as like, oh, you're getting this bonus as well. I mean, it is cool. I do like that. But for a tier, that doesn't feel like something. Were they just going to put it in a plain cardboard box? Is that all they were going to do with this? I mean... Come on. So that was a big stretch. And then Friday, they had their Hasbro Pulse live stream. They said, okay, we know there's only about two and a half weeks or so left to fund this Rancor. We better throw it all out there. Let's throw all the tiers out. And as we know, I didn't talk about it. We talked about it last week or the week before. Tier one was the Gamorrean Guard, which was absolutely hot garbage. I was so disappointed in that tier. We've had that numerous times. That is not a tier for this. Uh, we all know everybody wants the Rancor Keeper. I do as well. Ula is another one people want. Slave Girl Leia, that's what we wanted as well. We're not getting any of that. And then Hasbro Team, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I love these companies. I understand it from the toy business and aspect of it, the business side of it, which a lot of collectors out there, and we've all been guilty at it one time or another, forget this is a business. This isn't just a, a nonprofit. They got to make money. So I understand tooling and all that stuff that goes into these things. But on Friday, they announced two more. They announced Salacious Crumb. I love Salacious Crumb. I used to call my dog, my old dog Lola. Oh, she was a sweetheart, let me tell you. But she's long gone. Uh, but she always reminded me of Salacious Crumb. I was looking at her and said, hey, she looks like Salacious Crumb. So I'm happy to get this. But they just announced a Disney Pulse, uh, Disney uh, Store exclusive pack of like creatures with two different types of salacious crumbs in there this is a re-release this just doesn't fit the rancor yes he's in Jabba's palace but it's a small figure and to give that as a uh, 16,000 backers I mean what are we thinking here this just does not make sense at all this thing has totally gone off the rails and unfortunately while I was watching that Hasbro live stream people were canceling their rancor as it was happening that is bad bad news 
Now, I love the Rancor. Like I said earlier, uh, I'm blinded by my love for the Rancor. It was one of my favorite childhood toys. I absolutely loved it. So I've got blinders on with this. I'm first to admit it. I want this Rancor. I hope it succeeds because I really do want it. But man, the community out there is really turning their nose up on this one. I'm a little nervous this isn't going to fund. A lot of people funded the last minute. I got to think. I still think it's going to hit the 9,000. But I think those tier stretch goals... I just don't know if that's a possibility. It's just a massive flop here. And then at the end, okay, we got one more for you. And everybody's like, oh, here it comes. Here comes the Rancor Keeper. Let's get fired up like a young Tommy Rich. But no, we didn't. We got Luke Skywalker. Re-released Luke Skywalker. They say there's some new tooling here, but... I don't need this. We don't need this Luke Skywalker. That is a tough stretch. I just feel like a, a massive thud. Just like the air was let out of the room with this one. I just can't believe this went sideways. And I just, I, I'm for these companies. I want them to succeed, but I just don't know if uh, they, I, I feel like they are not in tune to the collectors, the average Joes out there that are backing this. Man, you gotta listen to your fans and all this stuff. I mean, I said it about the Mattel generation ring that we got. There was a lot of discussion. I did a lot of videos on that. Uh, I just felt like a lot of stuff is, I don't know if these companies get so disconnected, but I always say that in my everyday job. I remember where I came from. I remember coming up from the early days, uh, being sales rep, being a guy selling out in the streets, hustling. You can't forget the plight of where you began. And I feel like Hasbro and some of these other companies, they sit at the top of the tower, you know, a tower, whatever. Uh, they sit up there and they don't understand the plight of the average Joe out there. And then if you add inflation, you add other uh, crowdfunding things going on right now, which we'll talk about a little bit. There's so much going on. Then you throw the holidays, people trying to buy Christmas gifts, things like that. Man, it couldn't be a worse time for the Rancor. And unfortunately, Hasbro did not listen to the fan. They weren't in touch with what the uh, average fan wanted wants out there it's just it smells like a flop to me and man i'm rooting for it because like i said i love the rancor i want the rancor i need another rancor in my collection this will do i want it but i don't know i don't know if there's enough meat on the bones out there and the rancor keeper was a big one because everybody thinks it should be in there myself included how do you not put that i understand it would be all new mold all that kind of stuff my gut tells me, let's say this thing gets funded, I think when the Rancor, key, Rancor releases, you know, a year from now or whatever, uh, 2023, I guess, early 2023, when that does release, I bet you anything the Black Series has a Rancor Keeper around the same time. I think we're going to see that same thing with Galactus. Uh, a lot of people want a Terax as a build figure in there. Uh, I think Terax will be released in the Marvel Legends line, uh, a brand new Terax, about the time Galactus releases. That's how they're going to do that, and I think the Rancor Keeper is in that same boat, which is fine. We're getting him, but it really feels like, you know, that is the car without the engine. You need that Rancor Keeper there. It just That's the way it feels to me. We need those guys together. I would take the Bones and the Gamorrean Guard away, give us the Rancor Keeper. Or take Luke away and the Bones, give us the Rancor Keeper. That's the Rancor Madness. Man, just a disaster, unfortunately. I mean, I just really feel, I'm not saying I'm the guy, but there's got to be somebody out there, Hasbro, Mattels of the World, can reach out to and just say, hey, here's a non-disclosure agreement. I want to take your temperature as the average fan, the guy that's out there in the hunt collecting these things. They need that. And I feel like their market research, something along those lines, has gone amiss these companies need help. So somebody step up somehow, somebody step up. Mattel, Hasbro, I doubt you're watching, but there's something you could do here. You got to do it. But then the other uh, HasLab project going on right now is the Sky Striker. And man, this thing is slowed down too. I don't know. I think a lot of the Rancor stuff with all the other crowdfunding going on, stuff like that, it's just an interesting time. Uh, have, have we had too much? And we're going to talk about another big one later here in the news. But Sky Striker, 5,540 as I sit right now of 10,000. Boy, oh boy, we got a couple of weeks left on both these. I just don't know if it's going to happen. And unfortunately, when these things don't get met, Hasbro might say, you know what? We're not going to do these anymore. You guys obviously don't want it, so we're not going to get them. I don't think that is the case. I think it's just the uh, reveals and what the fans actually want is disconnected from what Hasbro or whoever is giving us. Uh, Sky Striker, this is going to be a challenge too. But I do think there'll be a surge. I just don't know if it'll be enough to get all these tiers unbacked and all that kind of fun stuff out there. So very, very interesting times, which I guess leads us into another one. We might as well talk about Super 7. Super 7, you know, I love and hate Super 7. I should have the Super 7 New Japan Series 2 any day now, so I should have those guys uh, probably for next week's weekly purchases. And Super 7 struggles with a lot of the human face paints and stuff like that, I guess I would say. Or not face paints, but face quality and stuff. 
but we'll talk about that later. But Super 7 announced their their NECA... NECA? Where am I going here? What am I talking about? Super 7 announced the Turtle Wagon for their uh, toy-inspired line they sell of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So the Party Wagon is something a lot of people have been wanting, uh, myself included. I want one. I'm really dabbling getting that Playmates one, but I think I'm going to pass on that. Uh, but the Super 7 one, boy, it's got all the bells and whistles. It looks like the old toys back in the day. But the price point is what gave everybody a heart attack. People were just, oh my gosh, my heart. I can't take this. And I get it. $500 for the Turtle Party Wagon. Man, oh man. So NECA is on the clock right now. We've had rumors of a sewer lair. We've had rumors of their Party Wagon. I don't know. It's going to be expensive no matter who makes it out there. But 500 bucks when you got Rancor going on, you got the Air Striker going on, you got other thing going on, you got the holidays. Hard times. Hard times. There's payment plans out there. I always say Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. You pay a little bit more, but you don't have to pay the majority of your money until it ships on that one. Uh, the best value is to Super 7, but man, they're going to be on your money for about a year and a half. So really, I would recommend Big Bad Toy Store in this one if you are inclined to get this, but 500 is pretty steep for a vehicle. But you guys got to think inflation, all that kind of stuff. We've talked about the last few months, years on the channel, actually. Inflation is hitting. So you're paying 500 bucks now. That is Super 7 saying, hey, this isn't coming out for about a year. Guess what? Prices are going to go skyrocketing. There is a big price increase on a lot of stuff coming January, February, March of 2022. Be prepared. I've been saying that every week. I'm in the thick of it right now dealing with it. It's coming. It's coming. If you think things are expensive now, it's going to get a lot worse first of the year. And who knows where it goes from there. I mean, it's just unbelievable. But Super 7 has to build that into their cost. So they're producing. It takes a year to get this out there. They've got price increases already into that thing. So maybe it would have been $400 a couple months back. Now it's $500. And that's just the way things are working. And uh, it's just crazy. It's just absolute craziness out there. we got all a vote with our wallets. And I think a lot of people are voting to pass on this one. But you got about a month to order it. You guys know Super 7 does the pre-order windows, all that kind of fun stuff. So if you want it, get it now or forever hold your peace. But the turtle party wagon coming via Super 7. So that's an interesting one. Another thing I want to talk about, but I think I'm going to save it for next week. I don't think there's going to be a lot of news next week, so I'll talk about it a little bit more, is Mythic Legions. They have another Kickstarter going. So just, it all piles on, piles on, piles on. They did their Cosmic Legions. Now they have another Mythic Legions one coming right on the heels of that. Let's talk about that next week. We'll probably have a lot more time being Thanksgiving week. I doubt there's going to be a lot of toy news out there, but we'll talk about Mythic Legions a little bit more in depth next week. So be ready for that. And then we talk, uh, might as well do the last uh, Kickstarter that's going on right now, a crowdfunding project, Ringside Collection. They got a long ways to go, and you guys know the rest. Uh, they're never going to make it, I don't think. They're at 10000 right now, need about 100000 to get this back. It's just not in the cards, it doesn't look like. So it's unfortunate, because these are really cool. You need the event staff, you need securities, you need referees in your fig fed, and your displays, and your figure photography and stuff. I just don't know if this was the right approach. There was a live stream this week with the, the team, and they said they might sell these individually on their own, but they're going to be a higher price point, and I think that sounds like the best model. But I do really love the love letter back to the, the, back to the Jack's Bone Cruncher days with the ringside collection packaging. That hits you in the nostalgia feels if you were an early Bone Cruncher adapter back in the day from Jack's. So very, very cool. Continuing on that footprint. I like that. I want this to succeed. I just don't think that's going to happen. If the Rancor and the Air Striker aren't going to hit, these aren't going to hit either. That's just the way I see it. From where I sit, as you guys know, is right here at this table. So there you go. But uh, if you're interested, get on it now. It's only got a couple of weeks to go as well. So uh, there's kind of the crowdfunding acts aspect of uh, the news this week. But now let's get into some of the just uh, one-off things, some of the things that are going on out there. We'll start it with our old friend Zombie Sailor. Zombie Sailor, Cella Toys, there's news every week in the retro figures. It's funny, reading that top 10 or my top 5 least favorite wrestling lines of all time, there's some people in there that do not like the Hasbros. And I think a lot of it has to do with age. But a lot of them feel that they just aren't a real wrestling toy. They're not cool. Uh, there's, I don't understand the hype, and I get that. I think it's more for people my age out there. I think the average Joe that's buying these zombie sailors is older, an older collector. You're not looking at kids, teens, or even early 20s that are probably back in the heels and faces line. That could just be me. Zombie, feel free to send over your market research. Uh, we'll dig into it. But he did show, Zombie Sailor showed this week, uh, I almost said, I was thinking Al Bundy. 
But no, King Kong Bundy. Yes, King Kong Bundy, one of the other Bundys. I guess they are kind of related. He wasn't married with children. But King Kong Bundy, we got the painted masterpiece. Uh, it just looks amazing. It looks like something back in the day. Just really cool. These are shaping up to be really good, but I want to see one in hand. I want to feel one in hand and see what we think. Uh, but it does look very good from the prototype he showed this week out there. And then he also showed a grayscale prototype of Bruiser Brody, an old school wrestler, one of the first hardcore wrestlers out there. Uh, quite the... Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, he's bigger, almost bigger in death, I guess you would say. The story of Bruiser Brody grows all the time. Uh, we also went to the same college for a while. Not together, I was not born, but anyways. Brody looks good, he's in a very uh, trusty old Hasbro type position. I'm not sure if I like this for Brody. This uh, It always felt like this was too small of a character and he was a big dude, but I guess with the arm out, he can hold the chain, stuff like that. So we'll see, I wanna see the Paint Master prototype, uh, see, give my final judgment or at least my middle judgment, I guess we'll call it on that one, but we do have that coming out. Uh, Zombie Sailor also announced Danhausen. We knew that was coming. He showed a picture of the prototype as well. Sounds like Black Friday, there's gonna be a pre-order for Danhausen. So save your money. I know a lot of people are Dan Housen maniacs out there. Uh, he's definitely been around and uh, he gets quite the uh, weekly purchases every week sent to him. He's he's lucky. He gets them sent to him most of the time. You know, some of us Joe's got to pay for those things. <laughs> no, but uh, Dan Housen doing a lot of things. I mean, is there an independent wrestler with more reach and more notoriety right now than Dan Housen? I don't think so. And it's unfortunate his accident happened, uh, broke his leg because I, I got to think he'd be picked up by AEW. I don't know how they would pick him up, but stranger things have happened. So there you go right there. And then we did see from Mattel, the only Mattel wrestling news this week, and it's quasi-wrestling news, their Hollywood Elite Line Series 2. It sounds like Andre the Giant as Bigfoot from the $6 billion man. Well, you guys know I love a wrestling figure, and I love a hairy bipedal creature. So this hits me where I want to be hit. I'm picking up two of these Andres. Uh, maybe if I meet the real Bigfoot one day, he'll sign this for me. Andre can't, but maybe Bigfoot could. I don't know, but I'm getting a min on card and a loose one of this. I just love this figure so much. Not for everybody once again, but I love it. I think it's really cool. I'm glad Mattel did that, but we saw some in-package shots. So it's coming in January. Wouldn't be shocked if it didn't sneak out in December. We'll see if that happens, but I thought that was pretty cool. And then a few other things right now, uh, really the last thing, I'm looking at my list here, my old checklist. Like I'm like a young Santa. I'm looking at it once and I'm checking it twice. And it's funny I say Santa because Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below, I recommend you guys order some of these. Now, Big Bad Toy Store has an exclusive, and I was hoping they were coming out this year, but it's going to be Christmas next year, unfortunately, uh, so it'll have to wait a year. But he is Big Bad Toy Store is coming out with a, their line of kind of Santa-inspired figures. They're going to scale with your wrestling, Marvel Legends, uh, basically your six-inch figure or so. Tons of different Santas. We got Robot Santa, Zombie Santa, Regular Santa, G.I. Joe Santa. You've got Elves. You've got Nutcrackers. You've got Accessory Packs. A lot of cool stuff here. Very reasonably priced, I felt, on these. Uh, I would order some of these. I would recommend ordering some of these because these are going to look cool in your display. Be it Marvel Legends, be it Wrestling, be it G.I. Joe. So they got the camo Santa going on. I'm going to buy one of those. I'm going to put it with my G.I. Joe Classified figures. I think it would just be funny. And then I'm going to buy the regular Santa, and I'm going to either put them in Wrestlers or Marvel Legends, something along them lines. Always can be used in a lot of different spots. Maybe you're Ninja Turtles. Who knows? So I'm getting the regular Santa. And then I'm on the fence about Zombie Santa. I love a good zombie. I think it would just be kind of funny as a display piece uh the accessory pack with coal and all kinds of other stuff very cheap i think you know 18 bucks or whatever it is i'm picking that up as well but i thought that was a cool thing to mention kind of like the ringside chaos stuff some ancillary stuff you can use in different places and i love this big bad toy store santa idea i just think it's really really cool out there so uh definitely check that one out uh, if you missed it check out big bad toy store now we turn our attention to album of the week and album of the week this week Oh boy. Now I got a lot of albums to listen to. Friday, Chemist dropped a new album. Exodus dropped a new album. The Darkness dropped a new album. Three bands I love. Very different bands. Uh, so I'm going to check those out this week. Uh, hopefully by the end of weekly purchases, I'll be checking those out. But uh, in honor of the amazing week, if you guys have been following me on social media, you've been following my weekly purchases, you know what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting 17 months. For some reason, I was the last person on the planet to get their Sentinels, their HasLab Sentinels. Well, my day has come. Finally, things were turning up, Kyle, as the Sentinels finally arrived. They were supposed to be there last Thursday. Then it got delayed to Friday. Then Saturday. Then it said it was coming Sunday. I'm like, is it really going to come Sunday? Never came Sunday. Then it was supposed to come Monday. Didn't come Monday. Supposed to come Tuesday. Guess what? Didn't come Tuesday. 
But then Wednesday, Wednesday, the light shined and the FedEx guy came and my boy Lemmy, he signed for it. And I got my Sentinels finally. So Sentinels, they are here. They're ready to go. Now I got the daunting task of doing an unboxing video. Uh, I've said it before in my Q&A video. What videos don't you like to do? I love to do every video, but I hate it when I have to switch my setup and try to move things around. I'm probably going to have to do that for Sentinel as they are awfully big. But in honor of the Sentinel coming this week, and we'll talk about it in the back half, we're going to go Defenders of the Faith, Judas Priest, and of course the standout track, The Sentinel. Oh man, it's just I've been rocking it all week. Oh yeah, The Sentinel, Judas Priest, just firing on all guns in the early 80s, late 70s of course, but early 80s was good too. Heck, I like all Judas Priest as you guys know. So I was jazzed to listen to The Sentinel all this week, and I got my Sentinels, and all is right with the world for at least another couple of weeks. So Sentinels are here, we're going to talk about them, so now it's time, let's get down to it, let's get down to the weekly purchases. All right, let's get down to the weekly purchases. And one last thing I should talk about is, as you guys know, I will be doing my top 10, top fives of the year of all the different action figure lines out there. So be ready for a lot of those videos in December. We'll do some of those Thursday uh, top five lists. We'll do like build a figure of the year, maybe top five. Some of those smaller ones, then we'll do a traditional top 10 of, you know, AEW, GI Joe, Marvel Legends, wrestling. It goes on and on. There's a lot we can do. And we'll be doing those very soon. But I did put a poll up on my social media this week. And and while we're at it, why don't you follow me on social media? Twitter, at SirPaul64. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Of course, subscribe and like and all that fun stuff here on YouTube. Uh, because I did put a poll up this week and I said, okay, Mattel Elites, 2020 year of Mattel Elites, outside of the ancillary lines, is Elite 81 through 88. That is the packaging for 2021. With the world and shipping disarray, crazy things going on, 88 or 89 and 90 have been available for purchase for some online retailers. Sounds like Canada just started getting uh, some of 89 right now. So technically those are 2022 packaging. So in my brain, it should be 81 through 88 is what we should do as figures of the year because the average Joe are only going to have a chance at 81 through 88. Not a whole lot of people are going to have access to 89 and 90 in the grand scheme of things. But I put a poll up. I'm a man of the people and you guys did not agree with me. You think 89 and 90 should count. I mean, it's one of those things too. You, it's like almost like a car. Somebody gave a good analogy of a car. You buy a 2022 car went for sale in 2021. It doesn't make it a 2021 car. It came out and it's 2022, right? I mean, that's how we think of it. That's how I think of it with this. And that's the perfect analogy to it. But guess what? My Twitter followers, the YouTube community followers said 89, 90 count. So guess what? I'm a man of the people. We'll count them. They will be a part of my 10, top 10 list. I had a fairly easy time with my top 10 list, but throwing those two sets in, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. That makes it very difficult as I did like a lot of figures in 89 and 90, and some good ones will get bumped, unfortunately. But that is the way it's going to shake out. And then... That's it. That's it on that. But then I said, you know, we have a lot of giveaways to do. Tis the holiday season. I'm a man of the people. I like to give back. This is a nonprofit channel, as you guys can probably understand. Uh, it's not cheap being an action figure collector these days. I think a lot of you guys get that, especially at my level sometimes. But I'm giving back. I'm a man of the people. And I got some of those uh, figures over the last few months to give away and stuff. And we're going to do some giveaways. And we'll do it. Winter will be, will be announced next week in weekly purchases. But I'm going to give away Ultimate Warrior Basic right here. There it is, Ultimate Warrior. But nothing says love like getting a free Ultimate Warrior figure, I, I would say. But there's Ultimate Warrior Basic. A very strong Basic there. And then Jack's Classic Superstars. Jeez, let me throw everything around here. Holy cow, we got a Jax Class Superstars Ultimate Warrior as well. We are going to give away. So I'm going to give these two together away to one of you lucky viewers out there. And all you got to do on this one is Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. You have to follow me on Twitter. I'm going to put a post about these, so be on the lookout for the post. Uh, but Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, I'm going to post about this. Follow the instructions on there. Guess what? You got to follow me on YouTube. You got to follow me on Twitter. Be good to follow me on Instagram as well, but you got to follow me on Twitter and YouTube to win this, and you're going to have to retweet it, all that kind of fun stuff. Like I said, look for the post, follow the rules. Winner will be announced next week on Weekly Purchases, and then we'll do a YouTube giveaway. We'll do a Instagram giveaway, maybe some other giveaways. It's the holiday season, and it's on my dime, so there you go. 
two Ultimate Warriors. Be ready for that. Follow the rules, all that kind of fun stuff. Now let's get to it. Let's get to the weekly purchases, and we're going to save the big one for last because, hey, why wouldn't we? That's what we'll do. We'll save it for the end. But let's jump into it. And you guys saw me unbox these on the channel. I think it was Sunday and Monday. Uh, but I do have Waylon Jennings, that old outlaw Waylon Jennings. I came through. I found two sets out there. Uh, Waylon paid for these. I got to get them to him. We got to meet up, and I can give them to him. But since I already had those unboxed, I said, oh, I'm going to use Waylon's in weekly purchases. So thank you, Waylon. Uh, but there he is, old uh, ground chuck and dirt bag. A solid, solid, heavy-duty big set right there. And then we got Wingnut and Screw Loose. Look at that bad boy. Cool packs, cool turtle packs. I understand they're pretty deep for some of you guys out there. That makes all the sense in the world. I totally get it. Uh, but very cool to get these. And like I said, go back, check out the review. I got a sick turtle display coming. The gears have been turning in my head. I put a lot of work into my turtle plans. I got the paper out. I got the drafting board. Uh, I got a big idea. And we'll have more about that next week in weekly purchases. But I got some big plans for my turtle display. Should all be done in time for the February-ish 2022 action figure tour of my entire collection. The yearly action figure tour. Be ready for that one out there. All right, a lot of you guys saw this. I know I posted the link up real quick, so I hope I could help some of you guys out. Once again, that's why you got to follow me on social media. Follow me on YouTube. You'll see these. Put up links for these for Amazon. Uh, they sold out quick, but I know a lot of you guys got them because you sent me messages. But I finally got that Chris Jericho Amazon exclusive pack. We'll unbox this. I got some plans for this. This is a fun one. Uh, it's interesting, though, and we'll talk about this in the review probably this week sometime. So be on the lookout for that. But that did come through the door. And then my final pre-order from Target came through. I can't believe I got my pre-orders from Target before I actually found them in the store. But here we are. Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards, the final piece of the Fantastic Four puzzle. I uh, should have a Fantastic Four review tonight if you're watching this on Saturday. Uh, there will be a review tonight. And then I will have a Mr. Fantastic. Plus, I will rank the entire wave. No build a figure, but we'll rank the wave plus the Mr. Fantastic unboxing on the channel. Uh, probably sometime this week. So be on the lookout for that. Mr. Fantastic through the door. How about this one? Here's a cool one. Uh, I had not, if you watched my Friday figure hunting video, I had not seen Billy Gunn in the wild yet. And I finally found him this week. And I was not going to do this, but then I saw him and I was like, oh my gosh, I finally found him. Uh, this is the only one I hadn't seen from this set in stores yet. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have one displayed in the DX wear this gear. And then I'm going to take one off and he's going to be in his regular gear. And that's what I'm going to do with this Billy Gunn. So I found two Billy Guns or one Billy Gun uh, this week. And I just had to have it. Had to have it. So there you go. And then, like a lot of people out there, this came up this week. Walmart, uh, they were selling the Cody ring. This was originally a Smith's exclusive in the UK. 25 bucks. I think I paid $100 with shipping everything else about a year ago when this originally came out. Because you had to have Cody. You got to be complete. You got to get it. I ended up picking this up off of Walmart, like I said. And I think a lot of you guys did as well. So very, very interesting. I said, you know what? I'll take one minute on box. Save it for a rainy day. Save it as part of uh, my on-card collection of AEW. But I got the Smith's ring. There it is through the door this week. Very cool. Will that stay? Actually, how about I re-jenga re it? How about that, huh? How about that? There you go. I'm a professional. Professional. So there you go. Now I got to give a major, major shout out to a good brother out there. Nick Heskett. Uh, thank you so much. As you guys have been aware, maybe you haven't. I don't know how well you guys have paid attention to my figure hunt videos. But there's one figure I've been searching for for six months. At least six months now. Now it's hit Minnesota in a bunch of places. It's hit Missouri in places. It even hit Illinois in places. But... Iowa, Nebraska, I haven't seen it in my uh, travels out there. And I travel eight states, as you guys know, pretty regularly. Uh, I have not come across this. And this is one missing piece of my Star Wars puzzle out there. But old Nick, uh, he was down in Disney World on vacation. And he was even thinking about me down there. So I appreciate that. He came across these at Disney World, said, hey, I want to send you one of these as a thanks for the videos and uh, the 10,000 subscribers, all that kind of milestone we hit just recently on the channel. And man, it is appreciated. You guys know I appreciate it each and every one of you guys out there and I really appreciate it Nick he sent me a wrecker I didn't think I'd ever find this figure in the stores I have heard rumors that he's going to be kind of re-released or really heavy released in 2022 early 2022 but it seems like Disney World got all of them. But, man, so cool to have Wrecker. Nick, I got to thank you. Uh, very cool of you to do that. I appreciate you thinking of me, even on your vacation and hooking me up. So much, much appreciated, much obliged there. So Wrecker finally through the door. We'll probably unbox him in the next week or two as well on the channel. So stay tuned for that. 
Uh, how about the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast? The card came. There's a card every single month. Who did we get this month? Uh, will it be in good shape? That's always the worry as well. Is uh, my, my envelope's a little bit bent, it looks like. It's a little beat up here. So it scares me. I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. Let's see what we got here. And there it goes. See you later. And I got Super Gabby. I guess if you know, you know. Some would say he's the greatest wrestling figure collector of all time. Nah, I'd have my doubts on that, but uh, Super Gabby is what it is. Uh, no real need for that. I'm not really collecting Super Gabby cards out there, but unfortunately not autographed, something like that, but it is what it is. But that came this week as well. And then I did get something interesting, and you guys know I am not a customs guy. I'm just not a custom guy. I never really have been. I'm very weird about my collection. I'm a completist in a lot of things, and customs are something you can't be complete on because where does it end? Where does it stop? Where does it go? But I saw something in my travels upon the internet this week, and I said, you know what? I have to have this. I'm going to break my own rule. This is an old school wrestler I really like. I have to get this. I have to. I can't pass this up. So I ended up picking it up. And it's going to go with my LJN collection is where I'm going to put this. But it's one of my favorite wrestlers, the old outlaw, Stan Hansen. This thing is amazing. This thing is really cool. Scales great with the LJNs. Just really, really cool looking uh, custom out there. And like I said, I'm not a custom guy. So if I'm going to get a custom, it's got to be something really, really special. Something really, really nice. And LJN Stan Hansen, I almost feel like it's a no holds barred. I can put him against Hogan and I can pretend it's no holds barred. But... Love this Stan Hansen. Just absolutely love it. I couldn't pass it up. It just looks so cool. I love the two points to his uh, lariat clothesline. We all know the lariat of Stan Hansen. My first incarnation of Stan Hansen was WCW feuding with Lex Luger. You got the chaw going all over. Man, that was that was the time to be alive. That's the time to be alive. Mattel, give us a Stan Hansen. We need a Stan Hansen. But I got an LJN-inspired Stan Hansen. That'll do for now until the uh, traditional Stan Hansen comes out. Mattel, Jazzwares cella somebody somebody all right now that's it now it's kind of a light week but not really a light week this is probably the most expensive week ever as you guys know i picked up three very good friends three children this week so big they don't even fit on the screen here but i got the sentinels yes the sentinels are finally here what a time to be alive out there can't believe it well i can believe it because i ordered them i should have got them but i didn't think they were ever going to come as you guys know and we're going to definitely unbox this on the channel sometime this week. It's going to be a little bit more work than my average review, so I'm going to have to spend some time figuring out how to do this one. But I'm excited. I ended up got three Sentinels, as you guys know. Hopefully you follow me on social media, you saw the pictures, all that kind of stuff. But we got three of these to unbox, three of them to display in my collection. I am excited. Uh, 90s kid, 90s X-Men animated series. The Sentinels are such a big part. I love this one. I love the pack ins I love a lot about this, and we're going to talk a whole lot about it. And we're each actually going to do two Two Sentinel videos on the channel. Uh, we're going to do a fun one out there of kind of the skits we've had over the last, I don't know how many months. I'm going to put those all in there with some special footage and some other things. So you'll want to check out that. We'll probably have Sentinel Day on the channel. We'll put both Sentinel videos up the same day. It'll be very exciting. It'll be a very good celebration. Uh, but man, the long nightmare is over. You know, you had to sign for this. I talked about earlier how it was supposed to come, delayed, supposed to come. For what? For a while, I had six tracking numbers. I was like, maybe they're just making it right and they're going to send me six of these. They didn't. They sent me three. But man, what a headache. What a crazy time. Uh, months, months late than it should have been where everybody under the sun seems to have gotten one. I wasn't even going to do a review of these because it's so late. There's enough reviews out there. I've stayed away from most of them, but at this point, you can't help but no, it's so, it's in the collector community. You've seen everything under the sun. Uh, you heard about the knee problems, how to fix that. So there's a lot of that stuff out there. So it'll be interesting, but I'll try to make my review as different and cool as possible and see where it goes. I'm sure it'll go off the rails somewhere. Hopefully nothing breaks on me. That would just be the ultimate slap in the face. But I'm happy. The Sentinels are here. Our long nightmare is over. Now Galactus, he's on the watch. When will we get Galactus? Uh, hopefully uh, no shenanigans with Galactus when that time comes. But there it is. There's the Sentinel. Uh, a lot of good stuff this week. A lot going on. I hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving out there next week. Uh, also, remember I talked about it earlier, Pro Wrestling Tees, the big sale this week. I... I Please buy my merchandise. Hey, I appreciate it. You guys know I do. But if you, I always say it, got to get a deal. If you're thinking about buying wrestling t-shirts or whatever out there, that's the time you can save money and put that money towards figures. That's how I look at things. Got to get a deal out there. But Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson. We're going to have some good tees out there, including rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling t-shirt. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. 
I will see you guys all real soon.